So guys, quick one. If the Black Star were to score X number of goals against Central African Republic, who do you think would be the goal scorers from the Black Star setup? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Because me, I believe Inaki William who scored his debut goal against Central African Republic here at the Babaya Aspo Stadium. You are watching Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. In today's video, we are going to talk about the strongest starting in level the Black Stars can parade to face Central African Republic in the last game of the African Cup of Nations qualifiers that will be played on the 7th of September, Thursday, 4 p.m. at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. It is a make or break for both countries. Ghana hasn't qualified yet. We either have to win or draw to actually win this game. But looking at the kind of players we have, quality for quality, we, we beat them on paper. But I run the firm. Yes, a running firm. We have to actually play the game. So in today's video, we are going to look at the strongest starting 11 Coach Chris Hilton can use to beat Central African Republic. So guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to, thank you very much. May God richly bless you. Don't forget our giveaway is still ongoing. Comment under this video and any other video we drop here on Sports Corner GH and stand the chance of winning yourself a free JC of your choice. Also, this is a shout out list on your screen and the shout out list i just want to say a very big thank you for supporting sports corner gh the likes of michael osai flair boy um Jeremy cheese say fast the name goes on see if your name is here thank you very much if your name is not here don't worry comment under this video and i'll make sure to bring your name in the next shout out list we made here on sports corner gh so guys quickly let me jump into it and start with you know, the whole strongest 11 that black stars can use against central african republic now in goal post, I'll go in for Lawrence Atizigi, and I know that one without a doubt, no question at he's still our number one because he has done it in the World Cup, he does it in the Swiss League, and he's already done it and we have already seen, tested and approved. So Lawrence Atizigi would be my first choice goalkeeper. Now let's look at the defenders. We have a lot of injuries within our centre backs. Though the only one that you know we can rely on, we have seen him play, is Alexander Jiku. But who would be paired with Alexander Jiku? That would be the very big question. And I'll go in with Joseph Edu. Joseph Edu too has been with the squad for a very long time. When it comes to collapse, one player that has a, a lot of collapse to the Blaster squad. And he's very patient and waiting for his side with Joseph Edu. So I believe Alexander Jiku and Joseph Edu will be playing that centre back role for the Blasters against um, Central African Republic. Now, let's look at the left back. Even though Baba Rahman is present in the Blaster team, I believe Gideon Mensah will start ahead of Baba Rahman. But if Baba Rahman also starts ahead of Gideon Mensah, I mean, they are both on the same level. I'm not going to say one is better than the other. They are both on the same level. So I won't even blame the coach if he uses any of these players, either Barbara Man or Gideon Mesa. Now on the right back, without any question asked, Ali Dissier is just going to play that position for me. But if the coach decides to play Kingsley Schneider, I mean, I'll not even blame him for that. But then Ali Dussiedu needs to play that particular position. If we really, really actually need the point or we really need to qualify for the African Cup of Nations that will be played in Ivory Coast any part of next year. Now, let's look at our midfield. Most of our midfielders are injured. Thomas Pate injured. Majid Ashberu injured. Now, if you look at the blaster list that was released, the only creative player in that midfield for the Black Stars is Mohamed Kudush. The rest are mostly defensive midfielders or central midfielders. So the question we would have to be is, um, Coach Chris Hilton going to play a double pivot against Central African Republic? Because when he plays that double pivot, would be more defensive and it's not good for us, especially if we want goals. We have been crying, oh, the blasters don't score goals. The blasters all comes from our midfield. Because we always play double pivot. But if you can play at least one DM, 1DM would be very okay so that it will allow Mohamed Kudus to actually, you know, roll freely. But with the kind of call up he made within the midfielders, Mohamed Kudus would have to come in deep to come and receive balls. Now, in the midfield, this is the combination I'm going to go with, and I'm going to explain to you why. Salis Abdul Samet would be playing in the midfield alongside Baba Idrisu. Now, if Baba Idrisu don't play, I know the coach might rely on Edmond Adu. The reason why Baba Idrisu or Edmond Adu might play alongside Sanis Abdul Samet is that both players are defensive midfielders but also can play as box to box uh, midfielders. And I, I pray that they come alive in the game because, you know, if you are playing that box to box rule, you, you, you need to do well. You need to do well. Don't stress Salis Abdul Samet. 
who is who is sitting as a DM protecting the defense line. So that is very important. So Salis Abdul Samet being paired with either Baba Idrisu or Edmond Abdul. Now, in front of these two would be Muhammad Kudus. Now, if we know anything, after the World Cup and Chris Newton assumed the role as the new coach of the Black Stars, Muhammad Kudus hasn't really performed as we saw him at the World Cup. And the last international break, in fact, Adela Ayu played the full 90 minutes, whereas Muhammad Kudus just came in in the second half. Now, I believe... Mohamed Kudus needs to start this game if we need some bit of creativity in the Blaster squad. Because if you play Andre Ayu, we won't see any creativity in that in that particular number 10 role. We need Mohamed Kudus in there. And I pray Mohamed Kudus, I beg you, the dribbling, no, to suck a When you're born that, the passes will be giving the pass, be delivering the passes. Passes, give incisive passes so that the strikers will get these balls and be scoring. So guys, the midfield combination, Salis Abdul Samet, Baba Idrisu and also Muhammad Kudus. Now, let's move away from that and talk about the wingers. The right wing, I'll go with Jordan Ayu. Looking at how he has performed so far, copying the player of the month. I mean, Jordan Ayu, it, 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 he's my guy. He's my guy. I'll go with him when it comes to that right wing. And also the left wing, I'll go with Osman Bukari. Osman Bukari has done it as a substitute. Anytime he comes from the bench, you know he's going to give an assist. Or score a goal even if he doesn't do any of those two you know he's going to just do something that you know that no there's an opportunity to come in so i believe that yeah osman bukhari starts for me but with jordan are you if he doesn't start i believe joseph Pinto can also start that game but i just believe jordan are needs to start looking at his form jordan are needs to start now our center forward would be inaki williams inaki williams the reason why i'm bringing inaki williams is that charlie we have all been waiting for Inaki Williams to score his debut goal for the Black Stars. And I believe that is the game. Imagine at Babayara Sports Stadium, Inaki Williams scores the first goal in the first half. What? What? Like Ghana, Ghana will be different. I'm not like you, Ghana will be different because me yeah, I just want to celebrate his first goal. And um, I'll be happy if the supplies come a lot from Andre Ayu, the likes of Osman Bukhari and Mohamed Kudus to help Inaki Williams score his debut goal for the Black Stars. Now, the game, these players are not played the full 90 minutes. Definitely, there will be substitutes. Now, when it comes to the substitute, I want to see these particular players have some few game minutes with the Black Stars. Now, I'm going to begin with NS Miyama. We, all, we have all seen NS Miyama with the under-23s, with Nordjylland, even his debut with Million. And NS Miyama... It's just like the way Osman Bukhari is See, If you have Osman Bukhari, you have Enes Nyama in the squad, you are good to go. So I believe Enes Nyama needs to add some few game time, especially in second half. Also, Antoine Semenyor, looking at the fact that Antoine Semenyor plays in Bournemouth. Start the four, first four games they have played, Antoine Semenyor has been brilliant for Bournemouth and I believe he needs to play in this game, especially if Inaki Williams is not scoring the goals. We need to do the changes quickly and bring in Antoine Semenyor to give us those goals. He scored the, a goal for us the last time we played at the Babaya Sports Stadium. So that whole vim is there, that whole euphoria is there around Antoine Semenyor. We also have Joseph Pencil, I believe, could also come in in the second half. He deserves some game time and also Ransford Yabok and his Donfa, I, I always talk about this player because he has not been given enough game time. He has not been given enough game time. I, I just pray the coach at least gives him 10 to 15 minutes to come and showcase what he can do for the Black Stars. And also lastly, I believe that Jonathan Sowa, we all saw the goal he scored on Sunday. I believe Jonathan Sowa of Midyama at least. When we call local players, we should give them like 5 minutes. They should wait they say come and be in the pitch soon. You will not come and call local players for us to jubilate and say, oh, it's good. You have called local players. You have called a player from the Black Stars. Only for that player not to be part of the match squad or the player not to play at all. Unless, unless, let the player play like three or five minutes. Unless. It's very important. So, guys, substitute our go in for NS Nyama, Antoine Samuel, Joseph Pencil, Rasford the Walker, the Dauphin, and Jonathan Sowa. And also, my starting 11, the strongest goalkeeper, Lawrence Atiziki, centre backs, Alexander Jiku and Joseph Edu, left back, Gideon Mensa or Baba Rahman, right back, Ali Dusiedu, midfielders, I'll go with Salis Abdul Samed, who will be paired with either Baba Idrisu or Edmond Ado, and also in front of them would be Mohamed Kuduzba. If Andre Ayu plays, 
in that particular position, I'll really be pissed off with the coach. Now, at right wing, I'll go with Jordan Ayu. At left wing, I'll go with Osman Bukari. Striking centre forward for the Blasters, I'll go with Inaki Williams. Let me know your thoughts about my strongest starting in level for the Blasters to face off with Central African Republic life here in Ghana. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Sportscore IG. Turn on notification and make sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go vibe.